Welcome to today's video third graders. Today we are going to learn how to find unit cost and use it to solve problems and the dividing by 6, by 8, and by 9 facts. This is a very useful skill especially when you go shopping and you buy something maybe at the grocery store and you buy two items for a set amount and then you want to know how much does each item cost. So you can figure out which deal is maybe the best in the store based on how many items and what you are paid. In today's lesson you are going to need a pencil and three lesson worksheets. Lesson worksheet 125A, 125B, and 125C. Alright, so if I were to go to the school store and buy two erasers and they cost 10 cents, I can figure out what does one eraser cost by dividing. And yesterday, in yesterday's lesson, we learned how to do long division. If I do 10 cents divided by 2, 10 cents divided by 2, 5 times 2, that was 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. Okay, so that would be one I could do in my head. Now, because I did that, I know the cost of one eraser. One eraser costs five cents. So then I can use that information to figure out how much would seven erasers cost. I want to take seven times five, and that would equal 35 cents for seven erasers. Let's look at lesson worksheet 125-1A. The first problem on that sheet says if two pencils cost 12 cents, what is the cost of five pencils? Here they've made a nice table for us. They've started that. We have pencils and then we have the cost of those pencils. Right now we know that two pencils cost 12 cents. I'm going to fill that in here. The first thing I want to do is figure out how much does one pencil cost. So like I did in the first example on the smart board here, I want to divide 12 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2, we know that fact. That fact would tell us that 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay, so we have just figured out how much does one pencil cost. And one pencil would cost 6 cents. Okay? So if we take 6 times this number, we will figure out how much does each one cost. So I can make this table. So these numbers are going up by 6. They're counting by 6. 6, 12, 18 cents, 24 cents, and 30 cents. 6 pencils would cost 36 cents. 7 pencils would cost 42 cents. 8 pencils would cost 48 cents. Nine pencils, that would cost 54 cents, and 10 pencils would cost 60 cents. Okay. Now, because the question is what is the cost of five pencils, we look here, that is 30 cents. Now, let's say you wanted to do that maybe a little bit quicker way. What you could do is do 12 divided by 2, figure out what is the cost of 1, once you figure out the cost of one pencil, you take that same six cents and you go times five, and that would be 30 cents. Okay, so there are many different ways to do this. That's the awesome thing about math. There's usually more than one way to do it. It doesn't really matter as long as you understand how you got to your answer and you show the steps that you took to get to your answer. Number two, if five oranges cost 40 cents, what is the cost of three oranges? Well, what do we know? Well, we want to know the cost of three oranges. We know the cost of five oranges is 40 cents. They told us that. That's all the information we need so far to be able to figure this out. Start by figuring out what does one cost. 
So 40 cents divided by 5, 40 divided by 5. Do that in your head. You can do that in your head because 40 divided by 5 is 8. And if you were to do 8 times 5, that's 40. 0 minus 0 is 0, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, oops. So the cost of one of these oranges would be 8 cents. And now we can start counting by 8s in our table and fill that in, and then we'll be able to figure out what is the cost of three oranges. So 8, 16, 24, 32, uh, 40 was already there, so 48 cents, 56 cents, 64 cents, 72 cents, and 80 cents. And again, because they want to know the cost of three oranges, once we figure out what does one cost, we could take 8 cents, Take that times three, and that would tell us that we would have to pay 24 cents for three oranges. And number three, if 10 markers cost 90 cents, what is the cost of six markers? So eventually we are trying to figure out what do six markers cost. We know 10 markers cost 90 cents. I'm going to go down to my table here. I know that's 90 cents. Okay. So I should do 90 cents divided by 10. I can do that in my head because what number times 10 equals 90? That would be 9 cents. Okay, so one marker costs nine cents. So now in my table I can count by nines. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. And once again, remember, if I know the cost of one, I can figure out the cost of six by taking nine cents times six. Use your magic nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five tens, four ones, 54 cents. Okay, that wraps up. Lesson 125 worksheet A. We're going to go to the B side next. And here is the B side. So we have fact cards here. And we need three numbers to make a fact family here. And in a fact family, we can write two multiplication problems and two division problems. 48, 6, and 8. 6 times 8 will get us to 48. The opposite of that is 8 times 6. 8 times 6, go across the bottom, we multiply across the bottom, and then we go up, and that would equal 48. The next one is a division problem. Remember for the division problems we start at the top, we go down to a side, and then our answer is the opposite direction. So if I go down to the left, I want to go to the right. If I go down to the right, then I want to go to the left. This is a division bar. The number that's on top of our card is 48. That goes on top of the division bar. 48 divided by, we'll go down this side first. 48 divided by 6, that is 8. We go across, okay? Or we can go the other way, 48 divided by 8 equals 6. 
The next card, the one number I am missing, is 7 because, because 7 times 9 equals 63. Let's flip that around, do the reverse of that. 9 times 7 equals 63. And then the next two we need to divide. 63 divided by 7. That equals 9. And 63 divided by 9 equals 7. 72, 8, and we're missing a number there. The number we are missing is 9. Let's do the two multiplication facts in this fact family. 8 times 9, 72. Flip that around. 9 times 8, that's 72. Here we have a division box. Still start at the top. Let's write that number in the middle of the box, inside the box. 72 divided by, we'll go down to the left first, 72 divided by 8, that equals 9. Now when I have a single digit number on as the answer to this, I want to write it right above the 1's. Do the next one, write the 72 inside the box, divided by 9, equals 8. My 8 is right above my 1's place because I only have one digit in what is called the quotient in the answer. Next three fact cards that we need to do are 54, 9, and we are missing the number 6. So let's multiply first. Let's do 9 times 6, and we know that that is 54. And we know 6 times 9, that equals 54. Again, we have our division bar. 54 goes on top. Let's divide by 9 first. 54 divided by 9, that is 6. And go the other direction. 54 divided by 6 equals 9. Moving on to the next card. 56, 8, and the number I am missing is a 7. Let's multiply across. 7 times 8, 56, 8. And 7, 56, and let's do the two division problems, 56 divided by 7 equals 8, and then 56 divided by 8 equals 7. 42, 6, and the number we are missing is 7. 6 times 7, that's 42. 7 times 6 is 42. Now we need to go down and write our two division facts. Write the number at the top, inside the box, 42 divided by 6 equals 7. My 7 goes right above the 1's place. And down here, 42 divided by 7 equals 6. Okay, the 6 goes right above the 2 in the 1's place. Then let's go to lesson worksheet 125-1c. We'll do all of the divided by 6 is first, then divide by 8, and then we'll divide by 9. 54 divided by 6, 9. 6 divided by 6, 1. 42 divided by 6, 7. 30 divided by 6, 5. 24 divided by 6, that is 4. 60 divided by 6, 10. 48 divided by 6 is 8. 12 divided by 6, that is 2. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 0 divided by 6, that is 0. 
If you'd like to try these before I do them, go ahead and hit pause at any time here. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 56 divided by 8, 7. 32 divided by 8, that is 4. 72 divided by 8 is 9. 0 divided by 8, 0. 48 divided by 8, 6. 80 divided by 8, that's 10. 64 divided by 8, that's 8. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. Last up, let's do the 9's divided by 9, and for a lot of these you can use a special trick, and this will only work for the divided by 9's. If you look at the 10's place, and you remember that other trick that I showed you when we were multiplying, when we were doing 9 times 8, and the 10's place is always 1 less, than the number we were, we were multiplying times 8. We can do the same thing here. So I'm going to look at 0 times 9 first, and we can't use the trick for this, but any number, 0 divided by any number, is always 0. Okay, so let's do the next one, 63 divided by 9. The trick for this is, look at the tens place and say what number is one more than that. 63 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 6? 7. 72 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 7? 8. 45 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 4? 5. 36 divided by 9? 4. 27 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 2? 3. 81 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 8? 9. 90 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 9? 10. 18 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 1? Well, that's 2. And 54 divided by 9. What's 1 more than 5? 6. So anytime you can use a trick like that to help you learn a new fact, go ahead and use it. Okay, Especially to learn these facts. Help you get these down so that they are automatic. Okay, that's going to wrap up our video today and if you have questions on this please feel free to ask me. I'll catch you on the next video.